Hi everyone, my name is Greta Tagueg, Master in Information Technology from Isabela State University, Kawayan Campus. To disassemble the PC, you must prepare all your tools, the long Phillips screwdriver, the rubber eraser, soft white bristle brush, and prepare your pen for documentation. The next is steps on how to disassemble a computer. The first thing you do is unplug every cable that's plugged to your computer. Now that your computer is fully unplugged, move your PC to a clean work space. Remove outer shell or casing. Now that the case is off, begin to remove the internal components which is system fan. Remove the PC fan. Unscrew the power supply. Unscrew or disassemble DVD or CD drive. Remove or unscrew the card reader, remove the hard disk drive, remove the expansion card slots, remove the connectivity center cables, remove the RAM or the random access memory, remove power button and power LED plus HDD LED, remove the connectivity center, remove the motherboard, and the last, lastly, clean the system unit chassis with your brush, also clean your motherboard and the rest of the peripherals being removed. To assemble, first provided that all peripherals are clean and ready, you are now going to assemble your computer. In assembling back, assembling back your computer, what we have done during this assembling is just doing the reverse order to assemble it. Since the motherboard was last to be removed, it should be then be the first to put back. Remove the retaining screws from the stand of screws of the motherboard and let the motherboard sit on it with the port facing out towards the input or output shield. Lightly push the motherboard to set its ports to the holes of the input or output shield. Put the retaining screws on the motherboard screw holes but do not tighten it yet. Now be careful in doing this one and if this is your first time doing it, it's best if you lend a hand for assistance. Lightly push the motherboard towards to input or output shield and lightly tighten the motherboard retaining screws alternately until all the screws are tight enough but not too tight. This is to ensure that your ports are protruding correctly out of the input or output shield. Second, once the motherboard is secured, put back the FP, audio, and USB header connectors as you will be using your documentation for reference. Third, put back the drives to the correct drive space. And then fourth, connect back the RAM, video card, and other card peripherals to each proper slot, inserting it properly, and some cards will require screws to be secured. 5. The data cables, IDE, SATA, flabby cable, should be connected to its proper header and drives. Remember the proper configuration of the placement of the cables, especially if you are dealing with the IDE cables. 6. After the data cables are properly connected, put back the power supply and secure it with the screws you removed earlier. After securing the PSU to the chassis, connect the power connectors to the drives and the motherboard. 7. Once all peripherals are connected properly, have a final inspection by visually checking for loose connection or improper connection. Once the system unit connections are thoroughly checked and verified, connect the keyboard, the monitor, and the power connector then power up the computer. This initial powering up of the computer while the side cover is open ensures us that everything is okay. Before putting back the side cover, in case something goes wrong, we can accessibly correct the problem right away. If everything is fine, shut down the computer, unplug the AVR, and remove the cables connected to the back of computer. Put the side cover back. And lastly, Put the assembled computer back to its place and connect the rest of the cables and connectors. Power it up and see if there are unusual effects of your disassembling or, disassem or assembling procedure done earlier. Thank you.